Thirty. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Twenty. Fifteen. This is Atlas Mission Control at T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Atlas Engine Ignition, one, right. zero, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the NRO L-34 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. And you're hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing the launch vehicle ascent data. Let's listen in to the mission's progress. And we have uh, had a good switch over to airborne hydraulics. 25 seconds in, everything looking good. SRB pressure is looking right as expected. RD-180 is stable at 100% thrust. Everything is looking good. Vehicle dynamics look good. And we are throttling down to 89%. Thrust on the RD-180 in preparation for max Q. Got closed loop on PU, and we're now passing through Mach 1. SRB and engine continues to look good. Throttling back up on the RD-180 to 95 percent to 100 percent correction. Everything looking good. SRB continuing on its nominal profile. Everything is looking good thus far. Flight control disturbances look good. They are burning out on the SRB right on time. All systems look good. Just passing 100 seconds into the mission, everything looks good. In the process of throttling down the RD-180 at 95% thrust level as expected. Vehicle still continues to operate normally. At this point in the flight, the vehicle now weighs one half what it did at liftoff. Coming up on SRB jettison in approximately 10 seconds. RD 180 continues to operate normally at 95%, and we have SRB jet. Everything looking good there. We've just heard Rob Gannon confirm jettison of the single solid rocket booster. The NRO L-34 mission is continuing as expected. Our next event, booster engine cutoff for BECO, is scheduled to occur in 90 seconds. We have fired the power valve, pressurizing that system. Everything looking good. Approximately 10 seconds, we'll be throttling down the RD-180 to 92%. And the RD-180 has stepped down as expected. Everything looking good. And the vehicle's now 25% of its liftoff. There are 25, 20, 46 47 nautical miles in altitude, traveling at 7,900 miles per hour. We have started boost phase chill. Everything looking good. Started our constant 5G throttle segment. Everything is looking good thus far. Continuing to throttle down in preparation for BECO. We have BECO. Right as expected. Stage separation. Everything looks good. We have pre-start on locks and fuel. Mission. And we have full thrust on Centaur. Normal startup signatures on Centaur. Everything is looking good. 
coming up on fairing jet, and we have a successful fairing jettison right on time. This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus 4 minutes, 44 seconds into the flight. And as you just heard, booster engine cutoff and uh, vehicle separation, main engine start, and payload fairing jettison mark events all occurred uh, as expected. So you just seen the successful liftoff of the NRO L-34 mission aboard of the Atlas V vehicle. The vehicle is continuing downrange, and the mission is continuing as expected, and vehicle performing nominally. Liftoff occurred at 9.24 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. I'd like to thank Rob Gannon for his support of tonight's launch broadcast. At the request of our customer, we'll now conclude our live Atlas V launch broadcast of this uh, L-34 mission. For more information about this Atlas V launch and the Atlas V program, please visit our website at www.ulalaunch.com. On behalf of the entire launch team, uh, thank you for joining us. I'm Don Spencer, and we're again, we'll have a great night. We're very pleased to have you join us. We'll leave you now with one last look at the liftoff.